What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to unbox and review the new Dark Souls board game that just got shipped out via Kickstarter. Uh, I backed the Kickstarter when it was first announced a year or so back and uh, I finally received mine a couple days ago. This will be a review of the core set, the stretch goals that come along with the Kickstarter all shipping out later this year in October. I'm a huge fan of Dark Souls and board games so I couldn't wait to get my hands on this set. Uh, I'm really excited to open it up for you guys and check it out so let's get right into it. It's a huge box. This box is about 10 pounds, but it's got the amazing Dark Souls art. And right here, very fitting. You died. So, set that aside. Comes with the uh, rule book, which has uh, color rules, really well done. A very professional looking rule book and uh, has a little campaign in the back you can play that has a bunch of different uh, missions you can follow, which is pretty sweet and comes with some really nice Dark Souls art, as you'd expect. All right, here we go to the components. You get this first tray, which looks like it's all the cards for the game. You check out these cards, looks like these, this is the fight deck for the bosses. So really high quality. They look like uh, the same kind of cards you get from normal playing cards. So uh, I see, these are all the different fight decks for the different bosses. Uh, so the way combat works in this game is uh, you seed a deck for the boss's actions and then they uh, do them in that order. So you can kind of learn their uh, Learn their timing and you know, see what they do. Leon, what's up, buddy? What, what a cute guy. All right, and this is, uh, it seems to be all the weapons, which is cool, pretty cool. There's a lot of them, there's a thick deck. Uh, great machete. Right. These boxes here seem to contain all the miniatures for the game. So let's take a look at these. These are the dice, kind of Halloween-ish, which is kind of cool. All right, let's see. Got more dice here. So let's take a look at it from size. All right, so here are the hero characters. They're actually pretty large. They're a lot bigger than I thought they would be. So to give you an idea for scale, uh, this is a regular Space Marine from 40K. And this is the knight. So look at the height difference. So they're pretty large. They're more real scale as opposed to uh, fantasy heroic scale. You got the warrior. These guys are gonna look great painted. Just all the little details on them. They have a little flashing, a little bit of mold lines on them. You need to clip or trim, but for the most part, Pretty clean. It's like I remember killing so many of these dudes in Dark Souls. Dragon Slayer, this is one of my favorite pieces. This guy's huge. Look how huge this guy is in comparison. He was massive. But even next to the knight, he is massive. All right, and that's the rest of those guys. Now let's check out the big box here. This holds all the mini bosses as well as the bosses. Come with the little trackers. All right. Now these are really cool. The winged knight, you got a little bit of flashing there. You get it to take off, but really cool. This guy's the one who does that really annoying spin move. Nice hard plastic, good detail. Hey, you got these little wings, huh? I guess that's why they called him the Winged Knight. I always thought it was because he had this huge blade, but it's actually because he has tiny little wings. Huh, who would have known? Such a cool sculpt. Man, this guy is going to be really fun to paint. Can you scale the bosses? 
Here's the Dancer, one of my favorite models is hoping to get. He's a little smaller than I thought he'd be, but he's still pretty large. Titanite Demon. Wow, so cool. He's kind of got this like stone finish on him, which is interesting. I love how he's coming out of the ground. It's really cool. Just the gargoyle. And left in the box are all the tiles for the game. Looks to be the reversible double-sided uh, game tiles. This is the starting tile. This seems to have a bunch of counters on it. Keep track, there's Estes flasks and stuff. And here are the uh, profile cards. It's actually just like, break these out. It's nice quality cardboard. It's good quality and you pop all these little things out and you keep track. You put all your equipment and gear here, weapons, your SS flask, and this keeps track of your character. And they seem to all have a uh, special move, which is cool. So overall, all the components and miniatures are really, really high quality. Um, there's some large miniatures and there's a lot of detail on them. Um, overall, very happy with the product. So far, I've played three different sessions of Dark Souls, and uh, I have to say that this game very, very accurately represents the video game itself. Uh, almost every single aspect of the video game is interpreted within this game, uh, based on the way you level up, the weapons you get, how you collect souls. If you die, your souls are left where you died, and you have to go retrieve them. And if you get killed trying to retrieve them, then you lose the souls forever. Um, all the mechanics are very well thought of. You can tell the people that made the game are huge fans of the game just by the sheer detail in all of the miniatures and also the mechanics of the game. They work uh, very similar to the counterparts in the video game. Um, and the entire time I was playing, uh, everyone could agree that it felt just like Dark Souls. It has that same, same feeling of uh, desperation and danger while also being really fun and making you feel like a badass. It's very high risk, high reward type of situation, just like Dark Souls is. The enemies are predictable, yet dangerous. The boss fights are intense and feel very, very dangerous, while also very exciting. The bosses have specific activation cards that you pull at random and you put in a stack. Each turn the boss activates, you reveal the top card, and you make the boss do whatever the top card says. As you reveal them, you then learn the pattern of which the boss fights. Once all the boss activation cards have been used, you put them back in the same order and you flip it over again. That way, if you're smart and you remember what the first attack was, you'll know what's coming. Uh, so this is to represent learning the boss's patterns, learning where his openings are. Uh, it makes for very strategic battles that are both uh, very challenging and very exciting. All in all, I think this is an excellent board game. Very, very happy with my purchase. Uh, I had really high expectations for the miniatures and the gameplay itself. And to be honest, it has exceeded both of those in my regard. It plays just like the game. The miniatures look just like the game. Uh, the board is random. The encounters are random. So there's a lot of replayability uh, and even more so to come in October when the, uh, the rest of the stretch goals get shipped and there'll be new characters added, new enemies, new bosses, uh, new cards. It's going to be really fun and I'm very much looking forward to October. The games last around, I would say, about three hours for a full encounter, and that's if everyone knows how to play the game. So it is a slightly longer board game, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, if you have a group of friends who are big fans of Dark Souls, then I highly recommend getting your hands on a copy of this, sitting down and playing it, because uh, it's very much like the game. It's exciting, it's dangerous, it's hard, uh, and it really rewards players who are actual Dark Souls fans because um, a lot of the strategies from the video game carry over into the board game. So if you guys can get your hands on a copy, let me know what you think of the game, play it for yourselves, leave a comment below if you already have your copy and what you think of it. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing, it helps the channel grow and allows me to do these videos more frequently. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. And as always, praise the sun.